Hey, what's going on, beautiful family? It's your sister Michelle here, dropping another video. I just thought about something, so I'm going to bring it to you when I do. I'm wishing you nothing but love and light on your beautiful journeys. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. For the family members that has already done that, thank you. I appreciate you, and I love you so much. You know how we get down on this channel? I always say this, and I always will. We're family. Family talks about our shit, and we work through our shit together, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Anyway, straight to topic. Let me tell you something that you need to understand, and I think it's important that you know. If you're waiting on karma for a narcissist, if you want karma for a narcissist, trust me, I did, and so many of us do. If you're really, really wanting that, because my little rap is falling down. Come on now, it's real on this channel. You know, sister, don't lie. If you really, really want karma for a narcissist, Here's the thing you have to understand. Narcissistic karma comes with your surrendering. Oh, listen. My grandmother told me something, and I've seen this also, and I'm going to go to reference to that in a minute. My grandmother used to always tell me, if you want to see somebody get back some shit they've done to you, you don't have to do nothing to them. you got to let go and let it happen. You have to surrender it all. It's hard and ain't easy. But when you surrender it, truly surrender it, and you can see yourself in a situation where you can say, okay, now I get it. Now I understand it. Now I can go on with nothing on your spirit, really, for real. That is the instant that those things show up in your life. One million percent. You want karma for a narcissist? Surrender it. Is it easy? Hell no. Is it something that takes time? Absolutely. But I will tell you this, if you're going through this right now, if you really want to see this, you have to go within yourself. Not about, it's not about them. Go within yourself. Try to find, through the videos you watch, including your sister and everybody else, and reading whatever, whatever you need to do, prayer, number one, whatever it is, when it gets to the point where you say, I am at a point where I am truly tired. See, being tired, we all say that when we were the narcissist. But being truly tired is when you make changes. Say, say, you know, saying you're tired and you're sick of something is totally different than saying, I am tired and I'm about to move on it. I said for many years, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Kept going back, kept going back. I was never truly tired. Until later on, I realized what being really tired of this kind of shit is about. When you're really tired of this kind of shit, you move. I made moves when I was sincerely tired. It doesn't happen overnight. You will get there if you're not already there. You will say one day to yourself, even if you feel like you're at the bottom and you cannot see this. Listen to you, sister. I love you so much. You will get to a point, listen to me, fam, where you're going to look back and say, now, I said I was tired a million times before, but now I am so tired that I am moving. I am surrendering this. I am done. And the instant that that happens for you is when the karma shows up in the narcissist's life. Now, I said I was going to give you a reference point. And I want to give you this, and I want you to take heed to this, and I want you to go look at it if you have time. If not, okay, but please go look at it. I don't know if you like Oprah Winfrey. I'm not getting into all that. I remember watching a video back in the day about Oprah Winfrey. Go look it up. It's called Oprah Winfrey, I Surrender All. When she wanted to be in the movie Color Purple, she never wanted nothing more in her life than that. And a lot of times, that's why we feel about a narcissist for some odd reason, but we do. We never wanted nothing more when it comes to relationship than trying to make this work out with this individual who is clearly not right for us, right? We, a lot of times, want nothing more. People can't understand it. Hell, we can't even understand it. And to the point that you get, like I said, you surrender it and let it go. And after that, what's supposed to happen will show up in your life completely. It doesn't even take a lot of time. You know what takes a lot of time for a narcissist to get karma? It's us. Because we don't really fully want to let it go. We might talk all the shit we want. We might pretend and we might lie to ourselves and other people. Yes, we do that during narcissistic relationships. But I'm talking about the true feeling inside. You and you alone can feel. The instant, and I do mean the instant. Go watch the video. You'll get it. That you truly feel this way, that's the moment. You'll see karma. You know the only reason why you haven't seen karma for a narcissist? Because you're blinded by love. You're blinded by hope. You're blinded by pain. Because really, like I always say, you, the narcissistic karma was already there before you. But the love, the love bombing, and all that keeps you from seeing things clearly that was obviously 
and still is going on with this individual. Absolutely normal. That's why they do love bomb you because they want you to get to a certain point where you're so in love, you're so enthralled, you can't clearly see the red flags that's right there in front of your face. That's what this is all about. See, this is the thing I was trying to tell people now. After all the videos I've ever done, this is strictly a game. This is not love. This is none of those things. And I completely understand it now. And I'm trying to give you information to really get in your mind. This is not love. This is not love. This is not love. This is a game. You are a placeholder because nobody has a permanent place to this person. It's not personal. This is a game. That you have to learn to win by all means necessary. The same way they're trying to win on you by all means necessary. That's what these channels are about. That's what this love is about. To get you on track to understand that. If you really want true karma for a narcissist, it comes the moment you truly, not that other stuff that we do, we all do it, surrender it and let it go. Because see, with surrendering comes peace and with surrendering comes clarity. When you truly, truly surrender it, it seems like karma comes overnight. No, it didn't come overnight. It was already there. But you have surrendered your situation with this person. So now you can see it for exactly what it really is. And the fact is, they've been suffering and going through karma the whole time. Now the veil has been lifted off of you because you have surrendered this part of your life. You want to see something from a narcissist? From a point of view of revenge or karma and all, and all that other stuff, you have to surrender it. Because the moment that you surrender it, clarity will come your way. And it will blow your mind when you realize what you were wishing for was already happening. Listen to your sister. Surrender it all. Surrender it all. It ain't easy, but you got it. Love y'all. Bye. I didn't mean to take my light down. But you know, we family. Shh. I come and talk to you when I can. I love you. Bye.